What's going on world? It's your boy Sensei ripping him back again with a quick video. Today we got a Godfrey clip. He's uh, giving y'all his best impersonation of Shannon the Skip reacting to the whole Will Smith and Chris Rock controversy at the Oscars. If you remember last week, Shannon's take went viral uh, when he pretty much told the world what would have happened if he was Chris Rock on stage. So let's check out this clip. I'll catch y'all afterwards. Let's get it. I gotta tell you something right now, Skip. Uh, the Oscars, I was very disappointed. Very disappointed, very disappointed in Will Smith. I don't really like to say this. I love Will Smith. I'm a big fan. I love uh, Jada Pinkett. I love everything. He's been entertaining us uh, for a long time. Big, big fan. But last night was disgusting to me. It was disgusting. I've been in the NFL for a long time and I've seen things as a professional. I've seen things. I've done things, you know, but I used to do things. I do things, you know, in the locker room if I have a problem with somebody. But that was disappointing. The biggest night of your life and you gonna slap another man for telling a joke. Skip, a joke. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to downplay the alopecia or nothing like that, but it was a joke, Skip. You understand? He could have took that to the side, maybe hit him there, but you in public on national TV, Skip, you gonna smack another man in the face, Skip. I'm sorry, Skip. Chris Rock, I got to give credit to Chris Rock. Big fan of Chris Rock. I got to give credit to Chris Rock. He a better man than me, Skip. <laughs> he a better man than me, Skip. Because I done whooped Will Smith's ass. I'm telling you, man. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But I done beat his ass. That's real talk. And then you going to walk away, Skip. He going to just walk away, Skip. <laughs> he just going to walk away. Let me tell you something. My grandmother always told me. Always told me. That if you a frog, you better jump. That's what it is. You better, you better jump. Now, I know sometimes I say stuff, I say little sayings from the South that don't make no damn sense, Skip. But as long as I understand it, I don't give a damn who don't understand it, Skip. But I would have whooped Will Smith's ass. That's real talk. I've got to give credit to Chris Rock for not retaliating or nothing, but, but I would have beat his ass. They would have had to cancel the Oscars. That's real talk. I'd have took that Oscar, broke it over his damn head. That's real talk. See, that's some bullshit. I'm, 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 I'm going I'm to let you talk, Skip, because I'm very disappointed. Now, now, um, Shannon, you know what you just said was not only eloquent, but it was perfect. It was on point. You made all the right points. And I am a fan of Will Smith, a big fan of Will Smith. The Fresh Prince, his rap, rap music, everything. But I too was disappointed in Will Smith. Chris Rock, big fan of Chris Rock. I'm probably the biggest fan of Chris Rock. You know I love comedy. I've been here for a long time. It's like if LeBron James had a fight with someone, you know, and got out of character, I'd say, LeBron, how dare you? You are the GOAT. You're supposed to represent the NBA. Why are you fighting? Now, Skip, I'm not even trying to be mean, Skip. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, Skip. But every time we talk about something, you always include LeBron James. Uh, I don't know what LeBron James has to do with this, but you always... I'm not trying to disrespect you, Skip, but you got you to gotta stay in context, Skip. Stay in context, Skip. That's real talk. Stay in context. Every time we're talking about something that got nothing to do with anything, you always bring LeBron James in this, Skip. Well, there y'all go. God for giving y'all his best Shannon and Skip impersonation reacting to the Will Smith and Chris Rock controversy at the Oscars this year. And, um, you know, just our first watch, in my opinion, I think he did pretty good, man. Um, definitely got to work on the Skip Bayless a little bit. But, you know, when it comes to impressions, Godfrey has mastered uh, many styles. Of course, we all know about Steve Harvey, Paul Mooney. So when it comes to impressions, man, it just, you know, you need more and more reps. And uh, seeing that Godfrey is the professional, I think he'll do it. So with that being said, I look forward to him doing more bits with Shannon and Skip. So y'all make sure to let me know y'all favorite part of the whole bit. For me, it was the way he kind of interjected LeBron because that's exactly how Skip is. When he does his takes, it don't matter what the topic is. He's going to always find a way to incorporate LeBron James. So I think that was genius in the bit. So y'all let me know, you know, what was your favorite part of the uh, Shannon and Skip impression? And um, to pretty much touch, you know, on everything that's been going on since the whole controversy at the Oscars. I mean, we've heard a lot of takes over the week. A lot of people give their opinions from comedians, artists, 
But uh, Shannon took the cake because uh, he pretty much said he was going to be uh, beating the hell out of Will Smith if he was ever in that situation. So y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, Godfrey's impression of this. And uh, you think the media is going to be able to move forward? I don't know. But my name is Sensei Rip. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all at the next upload. Till next time, peace.